Hello, my name is David Brumley. In this video, we're going to look at the very basics of networking. In particular, we'll cover network protocols, protocol layering, and the suite of internet protocols TCP IP. I'll give it really just a high level overview of how they work. So computers are connected these days via networks. So we have here a computer, let's call it A, B, C, and D. And what I've represented here by these arrows is computer network links. Now the computer network links are just the ways the computer can talk. And um, these may be via wires over wired protocols like Ethernet or over the air via protocols like 802.11. Now, the goal of these networks, of course, is to enable these computers to talk. And in particular, they're going to send messages back and forth. Now, these messages are often called packets. So a packet is really just another word for a type of message that computers are passing back and forth. Now, computers are going to exchange these messages. But of course, computers only do what they're programmed to do. And the way we program computers to pass messages so that the message D sends is the message B can read is via protocols. Protocols specify how and when a computer should talk and how it should respond when being spoken to. So as an analogy, let's think of protocols that humans follow. For example, if we have Alice and Bob here, and Bob sends, says hi to Alice, a common protocol is, well, of course, Alice has to say hi back. And then if Bob follows up with, I have a question, then Alice, of course, is going to, as part of you know the normal protocol of people talking, saying, what is it? And then Bob would, of course, ask his question. And so really this protocol is just a set of conventions that people agree to. Now, humans agree to these protocols implicitly. It's just part of our social culture on how we go about talking. Computers, of course, we have to program with specific protocols. So in particular, we're going to focus in this lecture on network protocols, which are just the set of rules governing the exchange of data between computers. So recall that computers are going to be passing messages, which are also sometimes called packets. Now, the protocols themselves define all aspects of this communication. For example, there are protocols that dictate how one computer will find another computer. For example, we have computers A and B here. Maybe B is Google.com and A is your home computer. When your home computer wants to find google.com, it has to look it up by name. And in particular, it has to look up what it's, what's called IP address. This is its internet protocol address. This is really just how the computer would reference this particular computer B, as opposed to using this name google.com. There's also protocols for how data is sent back and forth. For example, when they want to send packets back and forth, there has to be a message, but there may also be data that includes, for example, the sender and the recipient. And of course, for specific applications like, say, HTTP, there may be special formatting that has to apply there. For example, in HTTP, there's um, a message called get. And what get means is, well, of course, get a particular web page. Now, when you submit a form, there's actually a separate message type called post that submits the form data. And so part of the HTTP protocol defines how getting a page work and how posting a form works. One of the cool things about protocols is they can be layered or stacked. And I've shown here a common set of protocol stacks. At the very bottom of the stack is what's called the network layer. And examples of this are things like Ethernet. Now Ethernet is a type of wire, of course, but it's also a protocol. And it's the wire that, it's the type of protocol that transmits over that wire. Or for example, uh, Ethernet's also used in 802.11.
Now, this provides a really kind of a low-level protocol that specifies how packets should be formatted on the physical wires or the physical medium like uh, the wireless network. Above that lays, lies the internet layer. And in the internet layer are things like the IP protocol, which specify, the, for example, the source address and the destination address of hosts on the internet. Above that is uh, the host-to-host -host transport layer, and two of the classic protocols is, well, the first one is called user data ground protocol, which is a very simple protocol uh, used to send packets between A and B. It provides no reliability guarantees, and it's, it's really kind of the simplest protocol you can think of, as well as one called TCP, or uh, this stands for Transport Control Protocol, and this is a more advanced protocol that provides, for example, reliability and um, other features. Now, these are really the, the such basic protocols in the, on the Internet that collectively they're called TCP IP. And they're ubiquitous on the internet. Most communication is going to use TCP IP. And in uh, future videos, when we look at Wireshark, we'll actually look at some of the data inside these package, packets. Above TCP IP are specific application layer protocols. For example, one would be HTTP, or Hypertext Transfer Protocol, which is, of course, used on the web. Now, I mentioned these protocols can be layered. And the way they're actually layered is, uh, in a sense, it's like uh, embedding. So we have here, as I mentioned, the Ethernet protocol, which is a very low-level protocol. And it has an Ethernet header that specifies, mm, kind of like at the wire level, the source and destination address. And then it has room for data. Now, in that data is where we put the next higher-level protocol. So this fits inside this region right here. So this IP message or this IP packet is the data of an Ethernet packet. And of course, this has an IP header and it has some IP data. And as I mentioned, the IP header includes things like the source and destination address. And inside the data of it could be, for example, a UDP header. And on top of UDP is an application layer message, for example, DNS. Now here's just another example of layered protocols. And this one I've given is uh, for HTTP. And I'm going to go at it instead of from the bottom up, I'm going to go from the top down. Now in HTTP, there could be a very long message that you want to send. For example, this could be an entire web page, which may be uh, kilobytes in size. Now this web page gets chunked up into individual packets. And each packet I should have drawn my lines here a little bit more carefully. Each packet, each chunk of data gets sent in a packet. And each one of these packets, for example, in HTTP, is sent over the TCP protocol. And the TCP protocol is layered on top of the IP protocol. And the IP protocol is layered on top of the Ethernet protocol. So in this lecture, we covered a couple different things. We talked about network protocols. And network protocols are really just a convention for computers to communicate information and data. We talked about protocol layering, how protocols can lie on top of one another. And I described the TCP IP suite and gave examples. For example, uh, I talked about um, DNS going on top of UDP, going on top of IP, going on top of Ethernet. And I talked about uh, HTTP being on top of TCP, being on top of IP, being on top of Ethernet. So that's a really quick introduction. You should go read, of course, other resources to get a more in-depth view. But I hope this gives you a high-level idea of how things work. Until next time, always keep hacking.